Oh, man. Here we go, guys. <laughs> Three down. <laughs> Two to go. Man. This world is a trip, man. I'm I'm just, I'm going to tell you that right off. I'm going to start the video by saying that. And y'all know what it's doing outside. You know, let me let me let the let me let the wind down. Look at that. Look, it's coming in. Look at that. Look at the rain. Y'all probably can't see it, but it's fucking raining again. So, uh, anybody want to join me? I'm gonna give you directions to my house, and I'm gonna start building an ark because we're gonna need one. <laughs> but anyway, guys, um, that wasn't what I was really laughing at. I was laughing about the way the world is today. Um. I was raised, I had made a video, before I get to it, I had made a video like this in a while. I thought I would never have to, but once again, here we go. Uh, I feel like I got to because, you know, you kick a dog so many times and eventually that dog's going to bite back. It, it, eventually, eventually. So, I, I was raised to be respectful. I was raised in the church. I was raised to uh, be respectful. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Open the door for women. You know, uh, don't treat anybody else, you know, the way you wouldn't want to be treated. Um, you know, respect your elders. You know, whole nine yards. Respect. Um, I, I really haven't been too big on social media. I'm not a social media guy. But I felt like back in 2012, you know, I wanted to start a page and talk about the Dallas Cowboys and, and you know, whatever direction they were going in at the time. And, you know, run my mouth about the Cowboys because I was a diehard fan. I grew up a fan. Uh, I was kind of born into being a Cowboy fan because my parents, grandparents, cousins, brother, brother, uh, aunts, uncles, you know, everybody was a Cowboy fan. So I was kind of born into the love for it, for them. I, um... Like I was saying, I, I, I'm not too big on social media. Uh, YouTube is good enough. You know, I don't have a my, MySpace. I don't even know if that's still out anymore. Facebook, Instagram. I barely got a Twitter. I just opened a Twitter a couple of months back uh, because I seen, it seemed to be a little different. It seemed to be more sports in the sports direction. Uh, maybe people use it for other things. I don't know. But I, I thought I could maybe, you know, see what's going on with, 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 with Cowboys and past cowboys and dads and you know guys like that so I, I opened up a twitter page i'm not on there that much you know I, I i really don't know too much about it but that's as far as i'll go you know uh instagram facebook all that other stuff is too way too personal way too personal this dude didn't even want to let me over my lane is playing out and then he speeds up so i can't get over and it's raining and he's in a company truck he don't want his job. Trust me. He don't. But anyway, see, fools like that. That's why I say this world is, is, is slowly but surely coming to an end. But anyway, um, I was watching, with all that being said, when I, if y'all remember what I said, I, it, it, maybe you got to rewind it because that asshole just, but anyway, with all that being said, um, I was watching Skip and Shannon's show today. I'm a fan of their show. Uh, the first topic is always the Cowboys. So, I'm a diehard Cowboy fan. So, why not? You know, let's see what the experts are talking about. Now, we all know. We all know. God bless him. I love Shannon Sharp as a football player. Got a gold jacket. Got a couple of rings, I think. One of the greatest tight ends that ever played the game. All due respect. But I... I, I I don't agree with him as him being an NFL analyst. He's always, always downplaying the Cowboys. And maybe he has his reasons. It's between him and his God. I can't control that. But I don't hate it. I don't hate anybody. Um now we we I hate to keep talking about the Jaguar game, but it seems like this is what where all the hate is coming in at. We beat the we beat the Jaguars 40 to 7. Now, nobody. Now, before that, and I said this on a video yesterday, and I said it on the video after the damn game, I said it on the video 
on my part two of my review after the game. Uh, I, I've been saying this all along. Before we played the Jacksonville Jaguars, we were the underdog. Nobody, not even some Cowboy Nation members. I was a little iffy myself, but especially the talking heads, the experts, if you will, none of them gave us a shot. None of them said we would win. Jacksonville Jaguars is one of the best teams in the NFL. They beat the New England Patriots. They got the number one ranked defense in the league. There's no way Dak Prescott and the Cowboys, they're going to load up the box and they're going to stop Zeke and they're going to do this and they're going to do that and they're going to, you know, just... <laughs> and I sat there and I listened. I was like, okay, they have their view. That's fine. That was a grown men, grown women. And that's their opinion. And I respect that. Um... So the game comes on, we blow them out, 40 to seven. Should have been 40 to zero if it wasn't for that busted defensive play. Uh, 40 to seven. Should have been 47 to seven if it, if, uh, 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 what's he call it, would have put his foot down in the end zone. Michael Gallup would have got that one foot down. So it would have been 47. But anyway, let me keep going. <laughs> um, we blew them out. Nobody. Nobody wanted to give us credit. All they wanted to do, the way this is their way of giving us credit. Talking about how bad the Jaguars did. That's the only reason why we won. By 40 points. Not by a touchdown. Not by two touchdowns. By 40 points. It was a fluke. Oh well, all of a sudden the Jacksonville Jag, I mean, yeah, the Jaguars aren't that good. All of a sudden, they don't have the number one ranked defense in the league. All of a sudden, Shannon Sharp said the week before, the week before, they were gonna, uh, uh, Blake Brown was gonna bust 24, t I mean, 24 points on us. All of a sudden, they're not good. All of a sudden, Blake Borders is the worst quarterback in the league. <sighs> now, they, they were talking about they were talking about it again this morning. And I made the comment, why did I do this? I don't even know why. What the hell was I thinking about? I got enough problems with the people that subscribe to me to talk shit to me. Now I got outsiders <laughs> commenting and, and talking shit to me. But I don't know what I was thinking. But I said, I made a comment. Not towards anybody. I made a comment towards the show, towards Shannon Sharp. I said, Lord, bless Shannon. I said, Shannon Sharp, bless his heart. I said, poor baby, he just he just can't can't stand to see us win, can't give us the credit to, where credit is due. Uh, just a hater towards the Cowboys. Stephen A. Smith, everybody, nobody wanted to give us credit. They wanted to talk about, well, Jacksonville did this. Well, Jacksonville did that. Well, Jacksonville didn't do this. Jacksonville didn't do that. Instead of just saying, hey, the Cowboys outplayed them. They, they blew them out 4-7. That Prescott was accurate. Play calling was pretty good. The Cowboys executed. They took advantage. They did what they supposed to do, and they won the game. Instead of just saying that, why not just say that? How come everything's got to be well, Jacksonville? Well, Jacksonville. But yet, just like Mark Holmes said this morning, or might have been yesterday on one of his videos, Green Bay in the 49er game. Aaron Rodgers came all the way back and beat him. So and so to so and so on a, a, a messed up leg. Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers get all the praise. They were losing to the 49ers. The 49ers, God bless them, but probably probably one of the worst teams in the league. Probably. Um, they get all the praise. Nobody said, well, the 49ers didn't do this and the 49ers didn't do that. Green, uh, Aaron Rodgers is the greatest quarterback of all time and they did, you know. It's okay. Now, I got chewed out in that comment section. <laughs> Dallas Cowboy fan, I don't know what you're talking about, man. 1980, you don't know what you're talking about. You're delusional. You, why did you have to bring up the five rings? Why did you have to do this? 
those five rings are irrelevant. Y'all haven't won a Super Bowl in 23 years. <laughs> I've never seen so many crybabies before in my life. I didn't know that much hate existed in the world. I didn't know. I didn't know that many people that weren't Dallas Cowboy fans were tuning in to that topic. I don't tune in to other teams' topics. When they're talking about the Cowboys, I tune in because that's the team I'm rooting for. And I want to know what's being said by the experts. I've never seen so much hate. Now, I, I forgot why I brought up, somebody has said something that kind of pissed me off a little bit. So I brought up the five rings. We have five rings. Okay, I know we haven't won a ring in 23 years. I know that. It's no mystery behind that. I know that better than you do. I know why we haven't won. I was there when we won uh, those three rings in the in the 90s and we were building up in the Herschel Walker trade. I was there in the 80s when we were when we sucked. And you know, I've seen it. I, I know. I was on the sideline with with with, with Michael Irvin and Dion them and all this stuff. And I used to be a Bob boy for the Dallas Cowboys back in the day. And I seen the greatest players play. I know. I know the transitional periods with Romo and all that stuff and all the quarterbacks we've been through in between Eggman and Romo. I know all of this. I know we've been mediocre uh, uh, for for 23 years. We haven't been to the dance in 23 years. I know that. But guess what? I'm not going to stop being a Cowboy fan. With you saying that, it's not going to hurt my feelings. I'm not going to cry and say, you know what? You're right. I'm not going to be a Cowboy fan anymore. I, I don't get the thought press process of some people. Like, with you saying that, well, your team's irrelevant. Uh, you haven't won, and those five rings don't mean nothing. Okay, so history doesn't mean anything. So, nothing in history means nothing. Nothing. I mean, you can go back from the Bible to civil rights to all this stuff. Nothing. That doesn't mean nothing. Michael Jordan's six titles don't mean nothing. Magic Johnson's five titles don't mean nothing. Uh, uh, even, even other sports like track stars like Michael Johnson, who grew up here in Dallas, Texas. His gold medal he got in 1996. Tell him it don't mean nothing. Tell Arnold Schwarzenegger all the gold medals he got in his and trophies that he got in his uh, Mr. Fitness and all that stuff. Tell him those don't mean nothing. Tell go to Mike Tyson house right now and say all them belts that you won back in the day. It was too long ago. That don't mean nothing. Tell him that in their face, please, and, and, and let me know what happened afterwards. Tell Evander, Ho Evander real deal Holyfield that all the championships and the titles that he won. Tell him it don't mean nothing. Tell Muhammad Ali, go get a shovel, get a shovel, and dig him up and ask him, hey man, I know you're the greatest of all time, but that don't mean nothing no more. Really? <laughs> my God. Oh my God. So your high school diploma don't mean nothing. Your college degree don't mean nothing. Whatever kind of certification you got in the past don't mean nothing. So for everybody that, that believe that, you mean to tell me nothing you've done in the past to get where you at today don't mean nothing. If, if that was the case, if that was the case, we didn't, we, we didn't win five rings. The Giants, they, they, they don't have four. The Pittsburgh Steelers, they ain't got six. The 49ers ain't got five or four. I have them. I think they got five. Uh, the, the Patriots, they, theirs don't mean nothing. Uh, it's the past. Last year was the past. Hell, I just got off work. That's considered the past. I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready for the next work day. So you mean what I did today, getting everybody they stuff, don't mean nothing. Boy, this world is... Some people brain power size is about the small as a mustard seed. I don't get it. There's a reason why you go in front of AT&T Stadium 
There's a statue there, and that's a statue of Tom Landry, legendary, the late, God rest his soul, Tom Landry, one of the most iconic coaches of all time, created the shotgun, the shotgun, shotgun formation. Who, who runs shotgun now? What team? Let me think. Everybody. Everybody runs the shotgun formation now. So you mean to tell me, oh, oh well, the Dallas Cowboys, they made up the shotgun, so uh, oh, let's not run it no more. Blows my mind, dog. People's intelligence blow my mind. <laughs> I don't, man, I'm telling you, it's a good thing people don't get paid for thinking because they'll be broke. Golly. And the last time I checked, the very last time I checked, if I want to write in the comment section how I feel about something, I think I can do that because I'm grown. That's the first thing before I said all that. When you walk in Frisco, the star up here, as soon as you walk in there, what you going to see? Them five trophies. I was supposed to call Jerry and say, hey, Jerry, you know what, man? I'm a diehard Dallas Cowboy fan. But, but uh, a couple of fans from other fan bases said, hey, man, uh, uh, those, those trophies don't mean nothing, man. So, hey, why don't you put them away? So you telling me your team, the team you root for. See, I, and I asked him that. He wouldn't tell me. I'm like, who is your team? Since you know everything, since since five rings don't mean nothing, who is your team? He wouldn't tell me. Because it was probably somebody that probably don't even have a championship. Or maybe just got one, or maybe two. Why you think they put dates on shit? <laughs> what the fuck? I can't buy this milk, man, because it don't mean nothing. <laughs> it got a date on it. But like I was saying, Tom Landry got uh uh on his statue, it got in, engraved. It got all his accomplishments, wins and losses and all that stuff, Super Bowls and all that stuff. Why you think they got that there? When you die, when you pass on, what they gonna put on your gravestone? When you were born, when you pass on. Oh, that don't mean nothing. What the fuck? If you think that, if you think that, you seriously need some help. Like, seriously. Oh my God, I've never, ever, why is it not okay for us to win? Why is it not okay for our fan base to be happy for a win? We can be happy, can't we? When your team wins, when your team wins, aren't you happy? Look yourself in the mirror and say, hey, man, I'm happy. I don't give a damn, look at the Cleveland Browns. For example, let me use the Cleveland Browns. God bless them. They, they're a better team now. They're a really good team this year, so far. Season's not over with. Still in the beginning. They've been losing for years. Been losing for a long time. They don't have one ring. Not one. I only, how many times? I can't even count how many times they've been to the playoffs. But see, they don't get that much slack as we do because they're not a threat. They don't have rings, so they're not, in the comp they're not, they're not a competitive threat. They're not in the conversation. See, when you got potential, when people see potential, when they see them five rings that you've got in the history, when they just like you go to your high school or something and they see them trophies and stuff, tell all them kids and all them past employees and coaches and teachers, tell them that shit don't mean nothing. And see them they throw your ass out like Fresh Prince. <laughs> How you gonna tell me? I'm not supposed to be happy about my, I'm not supposed to say nothing about my fight. Well, why you bring up? That means you jealous. Guys, I, <laughs> it's like I say, man, I, that's probably why I ain't got no hair no more. That's probably why, because it's tough being a cowboy fan, dog. I'm telling you, I've never got on anybody else's page and hated like that, man. I got, I got buddies that are Eagle fans that are subscribed to me. I'm subscribed to them. And I've always been the one saying, hey man, good game. Even back in high school and college. Hey man, good game. Y'all played a good game. Even if we won or loss, hey man, good game, dog. Much respect, man. Good game. I've never hated on anybody. For what? 
New generation of people, man. Different thought process. Bottom line. I've never got, every time we play somebody and we lose, I always shout out to the other team. I've never called a team trash. I've never said, hey, man, they're trash. We should win this game. I've always respected those teams because they're fans too, man, of their team. What I look like doing that? We just might fucking lose. You get on here talking about, oh, man, we're going to win this, man. They trash. And then we fucking lose. Then you look like, you really look like a jackass. So why would I put myself in that predicament? I wasn't raised like that. I wasn't raised to be like that. Even when the Eagles won the Super Bowl, you can go back and look at the video. That was a good win. They deserved it. They played hard. They fought hard all season long. They went through adversity with injuries. They're a good team. Even the guys at the draft, go back and look at my draft video. I was at the draft. I was there. Me and some Eagle fans and some Cowboy fans, we were all talking, you know, off the camera and stuff like that. You know, shooting the shit. They were cool. You know what I mean? Um... Then I turned the camera on a little bit when they called out the draft, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, we were kind of going back and forth. Hey, man, who you got? Oh, man, y'all ain't going to do nothing. I got nothing. And then, you know, we bumped a little bit. But right after that, we dapped each other up. It's just a game, man. We was cool. Hey, we see y'all when the season start. All right, all right, 1980, I'll holler at you, bro. All right, man, hey, right, 1980, I've been checking you out, bro. I, I'm subscribed to you, man. You probably don't know it, but I am. Hey, we're cool, Pete, man. I'm like, all right, man, I appreciate it. That was it. Man, I, it. Guys, I'm not going to stop being a Cowboy fan. And nobody on Cowboy Nation on YouTube is going to stop being a Cowboy fan. Mark Holmes, Law, Shango, Shango the GOAT, the Godfather, my round table crew, Space Cowboy, 17, fifth quarter Cowboys, the king of the South, uh, Dallas Cowboy Football News, my Cowboys family. We're not going, oh, uh, Joe, Cowboys blog, we're not going to stop, we're not going to stop being Cowboy fans, we're not going to stop representing the star, we're not going to stop bringing up the five championships that we earned, earned back in the day, we're not going to stop, when you get a job, and you go on your job interview, they pull up your resume, Guess what's on their resume? Your past. They want to see where you come from. Your work ethic. They're not going to look at you and say, ah, oh, this resume, it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. And they're not going to do that. Think before you speak. Next time. Think before you speak. And keep your words short and sweet because you might have to eat them. And make sure you stay cowboyed up and prayed up because you never know what the day is going to bring you. Hello back at your boy. That was a nasty video. I'm out. And the only thing else I got to say is, how about them cowboys?